Community Colleges, History, Mission, Demographics, and Current Trends. Though the mission of individual community colleges may vary in some degree, according to the American Association of Community Colleges, most community college missions contain several basic commitments. To serve all segments of society through an open access admissions policy that offers equal and fair treatment to all students, to offer a comprehensive educational program, to serve its community as a community-based institution of higher education, and to teach and to promote lifelong learning. Now, you might be asking yourself, what do these commitments look like in reality? Well, most community colleges provide associates or two-year degrees for vocational or technical programs. They also provide general education classes, which students can apply toward bachelor's degrees at four-year universities or colleges. However, not all community college students are attempting to earn a degree. Some take remedial classes or are simply continuing their education for the benefit of their own development. We'll discuss this more in a moment. But community colleges were created in order to allow access to higher education for anyone who wants the opportunity. There are no rigorous academic admission requirements or credit hour requirements like in many four-year universities. Rather, students pay a relatively small tuition fee and then are able to enroll in as many classes as they desire. As early as 1900, the name junior college was used to describe two-year colleges that granted associate's degrees. After World War I, the influx of soldiers returning home caused a spike in the number of public and private junior colleges. As a result of this rapid increase, the U.S. Bureau of Education organized the first national meeting of these colleges. This meeting in the summer of 1920 spawned the birth of the American Association of Community Colleges. After World War II, two critical pieces of political legislation radically altered the state of two-year colleges. First, the Servicemen's Readjustment Act of 1944, or the GI Bill, offered educational opportunities for veterans, many of which were available at junior colleges. Second, President Truman created the Commission on Higher Education, which permanently expanded access and affordability of higher education by suggesting the creation of a network of public community colleges for, quote, all youth who could profit from such education. This document also solidified the use of the term community college to refer to public two-year institutions, while junior college has evolved to refer to two-year private institutions. After this legislation, the number of community colleges more than doubled in the next two decades, with the opening of over 450 public community colleges in the 1960s alone. In that time, enrollment grew from less than 250,000 to almost 1.7 million. Later, expansion and federal funding was greatly helped by the Higher Education Act of 1965. Today, there are over 1,100 public, independent, and tribal community colleges nationwide. As of the 2011-2012 school year, 45% of all undergraduates were enrolled in public two-year colleges, approximately 8.3 million students. 3.3 million students were enrolled full-time, and approximately 4.8 million students were enrolled part-time. Industry-specific and technical certificates programs are also very popular, as reliable employment is often a top priority for community college students. Community colleges, partially because of their accessibility relative to other higher education institutions, have diverse student demographics. 40% are first-generation college students, 16% are single parents, 7% are non-U.S. citizens, 3% are veterans, and 12% are students with disabilities. While community colleges are known for accessibility, affordability, and flexibility, there are many problems that still plague the system. Community college completion rates are dismally low. With only 3 out of 10 students who start at community colleges full-time graduating with an associate's degree in three years. Due to budget cuts and economic hardship, many community colleges have been forced to cut back on course offerings. 
making it difficult for students to complete the credits they need for their degree or their transfer eligibility. As previously mentioned, persistence is a difficult obstacle for community colleges. Two current trends related to student persistence are online class offerings and college success skills classes. More and more community colleges are beginning to offer online courses in order to cater to the needs of their busy students. In theory, this trend seems entirely positive, as it would allow students to have greater flexibility and control over their schedule. However, this trend is intimately tied to problems with student persistence. Online persistence rates are even worse than those of traditional classes, with an average completion rate lower by 6 to 13 percentage points based on various studies. Researchers link this finding with a lower degree of accountability in online classes, as well as lower student investment as a result of the inability to form personal relationships and the difficulty in asking questions. Overall, the use of online courses is more effective among better prepared students. Another interesting trend in community colleges, which is being used to combat lower persistence rates, is the addition of college success skills classes. This is essentially any course that orients students towards college, providing them with study skills, information on the institution, and general advising. It is becoming increasingly popular for schools to make these classes a requirement for associate's degrees or certificate programs. These classes are particularly helpful to students who have an information deficit about college class offerings, requirements, and other fundamentals for success. Studies have indicated that there are clear, positive associations between first semester enrollment in a college success skills course, credit attainment, and second year persistence.